Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about ADCs, analog to digital converters. Now, the ADC on the Atmega 328P microcontroller, which is on the Nano, now the chip runs on 5 volts, so the maximum input to the ADC pin would be 0 to 5 volts. And if we look at the spec sheet, the maximum voltage on any pin is minus 0.5 volts to VCC plus 0.5 volts. And if we exceed those voltage uh, levels, we could damage the microcontroller. So if we have a sensor that outputs a, a, a voltage span of minus 2 volts to plus 3 volts, and we apply that to the ADC input, we could damage the microcontroller. So we need some kind of level shifter, which I built in my breadboard, which will take the minus 2 volts to plus 3 volts span and turn it into a 0 to 5 volts, which we could feed into the microcontroller. So the meter on the left is my output of my sensor. The meter on the right is the input to the microcontroller. So I'm going to adjust my sensor from minus 2 volts to 3 volts and then we'll see the meter on the right go from 0 to 5 volts which we could input to the microcontroller without damaging it. So I'll adjust, uh, I'll adjust my, my sensor so we'll take, it, we'll, take it, uh, we'll take it up and you can see the voltage input to the ADC is going up is 2 volts, 3, 4, So there's a 3 volts out of my sensor and I have 5 volts into my microcontroller. So with this circuit now we could actually hook it up to a sensor with a negative voltage of minus 2 volts to plus 3 volts. Okay here's my voltage level shifter circuit on my breadboard and the heart of the circuit is a dual op amp. It's an 8 pin dip package which you can see here it's a 4558 which is a direct replacement for the 1458 op amp. Now these are legacy op amps so they're easy to get. Now this pot here is my sensor simulator which outputs a voltage of minus 2 volts to 3 volts and since it's putting out a negative voltage we have to power our op amp circuit with a plus and minus power supply so this is our plus 10 volt rail this is our minus 10 volt rail and this is our ground. Now this pot here gives a, a reference voltage of 2 volts into the op amp circuitry. Now the output of the circuitry as we input a voltage of minus 2 volts to 3 volts is 0 to 5 volts on this line here which is fed into the A0 pin of the Arduino Nano which is the ADC input. Okay here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard my voltage level shifter using the 4558 op amp. Now there's two stages there's a unity gain summing amplifier which you can see here and there's a unity gain inverting amplifier. Now all the resistors are the same value that will give the two stages unity to gain, so they should be 1% uh, resistors. Now the something amplifier has two inputs. There's the first input and the second input. So voltages on these two inputs will be summed, and a summation of those two voltages will appear on pin 1 of this op amp. So if you have a voltage of 2 volts on this pin, and 1 volt on this pin, we'll have a voltage of negative 3 volts on this pin, but this inverting amplifier will invert it to plus 3 volts on the output. So we have 2 volts fed into this input from this potentiometer, so it's a steady 2 volts, it's constant on this pin input, and then our input here uh, varies from minus uh, 2 volts to 3 volts. So here's our truth table, with minus 2 volts input we'll get 0 volts on the output, minus 1 on the input, we'll add to the 2 volts, we'll get 1 volt minus 1 volt, and this will make it a plus 1 volt. So 0 will get 2 volts, 1, 3 volts, 2, 4 volts, and 3 and 5 volts. So this circuitry here will take our, our span of minus 2 volts to 3 volts. We'll go give an output into our ADC of 0 to 5 volts. Okay, so now we have our voltage level shifter feeding our ADC input to a microcontroller and everything works fine. But what could happen? Our sensor could fail and it could feed voltages into the ADC that will exceed the maximum rating of the microcontroller and could damage the chip. So what I usually do, I put in some protection to protect the microcontroller and that goes for GPIO pins, for GPIO inputs, for the ADC inputs and even for logic. If I'm using 5 volt logic I always have protection if we're, if we're inputting voltages from the outside world. So next we're going to look at a schematic that has four components that we could add to the circuitry that could protect the microcontroller if the sensor fails. We are going to have a look at transient voltage input protection and the circuit that we're going to look at can be used for a microcontroller for the GPIO inputs or for the ADC, the analog to digital converter input or for digital logic, 
like you can see on my breadboard, I have a CD4093 Schmidt Trigger NAND gate, which is configured as an inverter. So this is my circuitry here. It contains four components, one, two, three, four, and they're very easy to get. And they're connected up to the input of my CD4093 Schmidt Trigger NAND gate. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my transient voltage protection circuitry. So you can see at the very input I have a 5.6K series resistor. Then I have a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor across the input. That will shunt away any RF component, any high frequency transient. Then I have a 5.1 Zener diode, 1N4733A. So that will clamp this point at 5.1 volts. And the rest of the voltage of the transient will be dropped across the 5.6K ohm resistor, which is for current limiting. Now the reverse voltage will be about 0.6 or 0.7 volts because of the reverse voltage across the zener and we want something even better than that so I put a shot key diode, a 1N5820 so the forward voltage is 0.3 volts so that will clamp the negative portion of the transient to 0.3 volts, negative. So that input is going into the 4093 Schmidt trigger NAND gate which is triggering the LED and I have a 1 mega ohm resistor just to, to pull down the input uh, so it's not floating. So this point here will have a maximum of 5.1 volts and a minimum of minus 0.3 volts which will drive this uh, circuitry properly, the 4093, and activate the LED. Okay, so now you know how to build your own voltage level shifter using an op amp. And you could use this circuit as a template to come up with your own custom circuit to match your sensor output range. Now if you're concerned about output offset voltages due to input bias currents, we could do a little modification of our circuit. Now here's an, an inverting amplifier and if we add a resistor from the not inverting input to ground, in this case a 3.9K, we can minimize the output offset voltages. So to pick this resistor we take the parallel resistance of the feedback and the input, we take the parallel resistance of these two and we'll get, this is the closest resistor, 3.9K, so we could add that to our circuit to minimize the output offset voltage. Now if you want to design op-amp circuits using plus or minus supplies for an op-amp, it's good to get a power supply that's capable of, of outputting uh, plus or minus uh, voltages and I'll show you the one that I'm using. Okay, here's the power supply that I use when I'm designing op-amp circuits using plus or minus voltages. Now it's made by Alenco and the target is schools because this is a kit so the students could actually build this as a kit then use it in their labs. Now it has AC outputs and DC outputs. And you look at the very left, we have AC outputs. So we have two 6.3 volt AC outputs uh, between the middle and the outer. And then we have 12.6 volts between the two outer posts. Now on the very right we have our DC uh, outputs. So we have 5 volts at 3 amps. So we could use that for uh, digital logic circuits. Then we have our plus and minus supplies for op amps. So the so one on the very left here is plus 1.25 to 15 volts, and that's adjustable with this pot. And the one on the very right is minus 1.25 to minus 15 volts, and we can adjust it with this pot. So we can customize the plus or minus voltages with these pots, and we can hook this up to our op amps. Now this uh, kit is about $100, it's available from Amazon, and it works out pretty good for designing op amp circuits with dual supplies.